We finally made it. Volume 10. William Eggleston's The Democratic Forest. This one's called The Finale, which it is the finale for this series. So we'll finally move on to another photographer's photo book in the next video. So, all right, let's just get right into this. We got top five as usual for this volume. Again, volume 10. So I was a little nervous because I was like going through the pages, going through the pages. I'm like, I haven't written a number down for a page yet. I'm like, it wasn't until page 87 I wrote down a number for a top five. But and then from that point, there's a lot of good ones. And I think that's what I've learned through going through this series of books of William Edelson's Democratic Forest is that, and I've mentioned before, you can tell like when he's in an outing, you, there's multiple photos from the outing. And this shows, I think, you're not always going to go out and get good photos. And that's always something to remember. And, and I think that's definitely noticeable in this uh, volume. Even at the end of the book, it kind of goes into like this outing where I didn't really pick anything out of it. But there's a section that was just like heavy hitters. <laughs> and so we're going to start off at page 87. So let's fetch that page here, right to it, I'm liking that. And this one I picked maybe at first just because I needed to pick something, but I do like it. I like that it says top secret. That was the first thing that I noticed that I liked with it. Um, I like the dog. Um, it's a funny thing. I like that there's a Karate Kid movie poster that says coming soon. That's pretty awesome for nostalgic purposes, but I don't know if I actually like it in the photo. But I think without that, I think it would, it doesn't matter. I like it. I think the photo is awesome, but I think without that poster, I think it would be even better. Just just to give it a a non like just a very obscure theater vibe. I think that just kind of adds a little bit of a dated element to it. Obviously, in a movie, you think about the movie when you see it. But I do like just like this secluded vibe of this as well. I, I think the dog and and just top secret. It's really cool. I like this photo a lot. I don't think I'm too overexposing. I might be a little overexposing this on this book part, but actually it looks pretty similar. Um, let's see, page 95. I'll dial that in a little bit more in the next one if that's the case. Um, let's see, page 95. I like this one, this one's cool. Um, the boo, you know, does it for me there. Um, actually does look pretty good. Seems like I've been here for some reason. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, the classic Eggleston car in the corner. I, I'm like wanting to do that a little bit more. I've talked about that throughout the series where I think they're, these cars back in this time has that advantage of like the long trunks where like a lot of cars now are like just hatchback and SUVs where you don't get that like, just like that strip of color. But uh, again, you know, I've mentioned Pepsi, and that he has, I know Eggleston's a big Coke uh, fan from uh, just interviews. He has, like, a big Coke, like, cap thing hanging on his wall, and I think a lot of his photos feature that as well. But he does have Pepsi stuff in it, but a uh, classic. Um, yeah, this is definitely, like, um, you know, mid-'80s. You know, you can tell with that movie poster and even, like, this Pepsi machine and that type of stuff like that. Um, if you're a skateboarder, it's a really good pole jam. <laughs> You'll know what I'm talking about. Um, page 104. Let's see what we got going on here. It's on the opposite side. This one's just rad. The lighting is good. The dog is awesome. You know, just... Not much... I mean, not much to say besides it's just a rad photo. <laughs> Definitely just a rad photo. I like this one a lot. This is like one of those ones that could work really good in many series of photos. It's just very cool. Very cool. One of four there. So now we're on page 122. I already know what this next one is. 
This is a theme I've been talking about, and this is, I think, my favorite. This is the, you know, shooting through something, shooting out of something. I've talked about that, especially in the last volume, I think I talked about it even more. And I think I, I was really noticing it in volume eight, it could have been seven. That's when I was really noticing he was doing it more often, at least, you know, from the layout of the books. Um, but this one's just so good just because you got these strips of lights and shadows and just the beams and then amazing car, you know, out there. The vibe is so good of the trees. This is, to me, this is like a perfect example of kind of what I was talking about. Like, this is a photo I'd love to make someday. Something very much like this of just like these perfect things kind of coming together to make a, a rad photo. Yeah, that's, that's definitely, uh, that's definitely my favorite, for sure. Um, page 133, this next one has this kind of, I like it just if, just because of the craziness. Is, I, I was wondering, like, to me, like, this is extremely dated, obviously the sleeves and, and I just feel like, you know, it's probably the tablecloth and the, I don't know if things are prepared like this anymore. Like I haven't sat at a table for a, a, like a dinner like this and forever, <laughs> decades, I don't, I don't know. But, uh, but do, I was just wondering, I wonder if people, definitely let me know if people do this anymore. You know I mean like a full on, like, like, to me, this is more than just like, you know, hey, let's get together and have some food. I mean, there's like jars of stuff, some other type of container, another pouring container. I, you know, that's probably a drink, but there's just a lot of like accessories. And maybe that's what I'm getting at. Like, is there like, you know, I got this thing. Like, is this still, does this still happen in 2022? You know, this, like having, even having like a dish for the corn at the table, like, I don't know, maybe this, maybe I'm, I, you know, I don't know. That's why I'd like to know for sure. If this is still kind of a, a thing that pe people do, because I don't know, <laughs> but I do like this photo. For me, it just kind of captures that old timey family vibe, I guess, or, you know, gathering, you know, old time gathering. Um, I don't know if like internet and social media got rid of that vibe. I don't know, but yeah, I'd like to know because I like this photo. Um, but yeah, that I guess that does conclude the top five of every single volume from William Eggleston's Democratic Forest. And I want to thank you for joining on this journey. I know it started a while back. There was a gap between a couple of them. So the next thing I got to do is figure out which photo book I'm going to do next. So hit that subscribe button so you can be ready when I post it. I appreciate you following along, and I'll see you in the next video.